here's the Honda CRV, doing best to try and point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we'll start with the front right alloy and tyre here. So you've got this alloy, overall that's in good shape. And we'll see how much tread you've got on this front right tyre. And you've got nearly 7mm of tread on there, which is plenty. Now coming around the right hand side of the car here, that's all good. The only thing I noticed on this passenger door here, there's a couple of little chips um, that have been, a couple of those have been touched in. They are quite small if I stand about a metre away, uh, you can see just how minor they actually are. Not sure if you'd still see them there. But they are really small. And coming around the back right hand side, so you've got this back right alloy and tyre. And again, overall that one's in good shape, can't see anything wrong with that. And you've got on this one, you've got nearly 7mm of tread on there, which is plenty. Now coming around the back of the car here. So I couldn't tell if that was a, yes, there's a slight little scratch there as well. And again, a little bit of a scratch there. Of course, you've got your rear parking sensors as well. But just on the back, there's a few little marks, obviously, just where um you know something scraped the back here a couple of little bits where it's been touched in again but again if i stand about a meter back you can see they are quite small it's general wear for you know sort of a nine year old car if i just show you into the boot as well of course you've got this middle floor level as well and just underneath here you have also got the spare wheel as well There we go, now coming around the back left hand side as well. And I have just noticed there's a couple of little scratches here again as well. But they are quite minor. And you've got the back left alloy and tyre here as well. And overall that one's in good shape. And you've got nearly 7mm of tread on that one there. Now coming around the left hand side, did just notice on the edge of a door here, uh, that's obviously been opened onto something and it's just a bit of a mark on the edge of a door. And there's a very light scratch here as well. And just next to the door handle on that front passenger door, uh, there's a little bit of a chip which has been touched in. And then a little bit more of a, I'm not sure if that's a scratch or if that's just a, I'm not sure what that is, but I think that'll come off. Then coming around the front left alloy and tyre, and again, overall that one's in good shape, uh, but you have just got a few little bits uh, where it's just been scuffed on the outer edge. And I'll see how much tread, so you've got nearly 7mm of tread on that one there. Then coming around the front, generally it's quite tidy for nine years old, but you have just got some of the front right here. Um, there are a few bits, you know, where you've got uh, chips that have been touched in. Again, there's you know there's nothing major. This is probably the biggest bit on the on the bumper. And then it's just like a line that's been touched in. And the same there as well. As you see about a metre away it is really sort of quite hard to see. And the bonnet, again a few more uh, small stone chips. And here as well. And the windscreen free from any major chips or cracks or anything like that. Oh and you've got a bit more of a chip just here as well. And you have got two keys with this one as well. If I just come inside, that's right. So I'll start with the driver's door here. That's all in good shape, but just to point out, there's a few little light scratches just on the plastic. Obviously, it's something you will get again with the age. 
Um, the driver's leather seat there, that's all good. And you've got just a bit of wear just on the bolster as well. And I've got front floor mats, just to point out. Now if I just come inside, it'll just be a bit easier just to show you. Uh, but just make you aware as well, uh, we've done a full service on this one as well because it was due a service when it came into us. And you've got MOT until the end of April next year. You can see the mileage there, 71,140 miles. And that's all running exactly as it should be. And the steering wheel is generally all in good condition. You've got a little bit of a mark here, but I think that'll come off in a bit of a clean. And you've got your automatic lights. And you've got the sat nav as well. If I put it into reverse, you've got the rear view camera. And that's all working exactly as it should be. Heated seats the front left passenger seat here as well can't see anything wrong there and the front left door and the dash that's all quite tidy you've just got a few light scratches on the plastic there again it's quite normal to get that and you have got the sunroof here as well that all works as well exactly as it should now if I just show you into the back of the car. And you've got the back right door here, that's all good. And the back of the driver's seat. And the back of the passenger seat there. And you've got rear uh, floor mat as well. And just into the back here as well. Obviously the leather's a little bit worn. But then that's to be expected for a car that's nine years old. I want to say worn, it's not even that bad to be fair, there's no sort of rips or anything. And of course you've got your ice fix fitting just in the back there as well. And there we go, that's the 2012 Honda CRV, overall in good condition. Thanks for watching the video.